that they could have just seen what it meant to him when he seen the ram. It, it just made his whole day, didn't it? Yes. For Freddie Robertson, getting in and out of his Sevierville home in a wheelchair was impossible. That is until a group of people volunteered to build him a ramp. They didn't ask for anything in return, and reporter Gabrielle Hayes shows us why they did it. Freddie Robertson needed a ramp. So I was trying to find some used lumber, and I made a post on Facebook, Sevier County Speaks Out. It didn't take long for his wife to get responses. A bunch of people start messaging, and then John Soder offered to buy the lumber. Wes and Katrina Pittman. Pittman offered to build it. Then came building day. It really touched my heart that we have people that are willing to go that far and help us. And Freddie finally got his ramp. It was wonderful. And my husband had tears in his eyes when we pulled in. Wes and Katrina Pittman were there that day. I saw that they were needing some help. They say helping the Robertsons brought them back to the Gatlinburg wildfires when people helped them. And when my family was burned out, we had a lot of help just come in, pour in, pour in. So when I saw this post, I was like, we should pay this back. Elva says that help changed the way she looked at the world and it made the time she has left with Freddie a little sweeter. My husband was diagnosed with cancer. They've only given her a couple weeks to a month to leave. Freddie is now in hospice, but Elva says just like the people who helped him, he's a wonderful person and he's the type of person that would give too. They say they hope their story will inspire others to lend a helping hand, even during hard times. Help. Keep, yeah. yeah, keep, keep helping. helping people. Just it's, keep helping. Yeah, we're not. Um, we're all one world. Yeah. Well, just like uh, Bob Marley says, it's one love.